Actually, I figured... Okay. Hey there, what can I do for you? I'm sorry for the way I acted before. It's just that when it comes to Lena, I tend to get a little worked up. My brother and me had a good thing going. Sure, Griff had his run-ins with the law on Terrace, but we got by okay, until Lena came and ruined everything. She was a dancer at the cantina where my brother used to go play Pazic. Griff could be a real smooth talker, and it wasn't long before the two of them were dating. But Lena was used to dating rich Theresian nobles, guys with mountains of credits. Griff could never give her the lifestyle she was used to, no matter how hard he worked. I thought Lena would brush Griff off when she saw how poor he was, but for some reason, she stuck around. I guess she saw the potential for a big payday down the road. I saw Lena for what she really was, a busty, credit-grubbing cantina rat. She used Griff and took away the only family I had. After they'd been together for a few months, Griff told me he was leaving Terrace. He and Lena were gonna try and make their fortune off-world. He promised as soon as he made enough credits, he'd come back and get me, and we'd all live like royalty. That was two years ago. I haven't seen him since. I don't even know where he went. I don't think he deserted you, honestly, but... Oh, I know what happened. As soon as she got him off Taurus, Lena sunk her claws into Griff butt good. She twisted him around her little finger and made him forget all about me. I know I'll probably never see Griff again. But part of the reason I came with you was the hope that I could find out what happened to my brother. Don't worry. I won't let the search for Griff get in the way of what we're doing. Let's just get back to the task at hand. Is there anything else I can help you with? Nope. Okay, have it your way. Alright, so it seems like her thing is progressing quite nicely. I figured I'd throw this in here. Achuta. Wonga kunbis dolpi kikugoyana. Dong patuga smak delia. Runda di hotonga kun hunka bi. Wana kun bez ching palamule. Ka chi kun ita hotonga. Ye king kun o pa mule ra chi kun. Jeta badawana ni di bobo. Dong na bung sha nununya. Dong patuga smak delia. Mucha shak pa khat. Ki ye no no nama. Kachikun ita hodonga, ikinku achuta, wonga kun bis. Okay, uh, let me see what you have up for sale. Uh, I don't really care about his problems with Circa. Alright, so, uh, let's buy the five med packs he has. Or the, um,. Rather the um, advanced med packs, and I forget how many I have of this. Uh, show cell list. Seven. Ah, crud. Okay. Uh. As far as to what, what else he has, I mean, yeah, actually, if you were going to buy any sword, If you're gonna buy any sword in this game, I would say buy this one. But as you can see, we really don't have much in the line of cash right now. Now, I can change that. Uh, don't worry about the belts. And he doesn't have anything other than Pazak cards. Down here that are rare. Uh, 
Um, you might want to buy this if you have the money to uh, buy it. Uh, I don't know if you're playing a dark side character, you might want to grab this a, a breath mask. Makes you look kind of decent. Uh, otherwise, I'm going to buy a couple more med packs because I seem to need them. That should be enough. Uh, so I'm going to go and double check people's loadouts on weapons and then... I'll see you guys back in the grove. Okay, guys, I'm back and we're here. I made sure that I put the um, mind affecting Okay, now we're wearing the Republic mod armor with the mind affecting um, Thing on, and we're going to also grab. We're going to dual wield like this for the moment, and we're going to clear the taint. And our blade's missing. Yay! And yeah, these two are out of commission. I kind of knew that that was going to happen. Um, let's see here. Adrenal strength, and then we're going to Yeah, that whirlwind's gonna keep going around. Uh, what are you doing here? Why did you attack me? Uh, I'll finish you now. Um. I am Juhani, and this is my grove. This is the place of my dark power. This is the place you have invaded. When I embrace the dark side, this is where I sought my solace. It is mine. Uh huh. Uh, you were Jedi then? Uh, you've been correcting the cat hounds? Yes. Aren't they pretty? My pets. They like the smell of power I exude. They know their master. I harnessed true power when I struck down my master, Quatra. Power enough to crush the life from someone such as you. Or so I had thought. Uh, yeah. We do... We are not even Jedi yet. Well, I don't think we really... Um... You slew your... You slew Quattro, your master? Yes. I struck her down in the middle of training, consumed by my anger, embracing the power of hate. But it was not enough. <sighs> what is it you want? Why do you bother me? <laughs> now, I could tell her that, and it really doesn't matter. Um...
I really forget the sequence of events, or the sequence in this. Um, like what you should see, see uh, say and how, and I could open up my phone and check, but I'm not going to. Uh, I'm just gonna wing it. Uh, we should have enough persuade to um, <clears throat> uh, just talk her down using it, uh, but there is a way to do it without. Talk. You who have beaten me so easily just want to talk? I do not believe it. Kill me now while you still have the power. I have no desire to kill you. Trust me, persuading her is like the easiest way to do it. Um, you, you do not. I am pathetic. I sit here and think myself to be great by embracing the dark side, but I am nothing. There is no way I could be turned back. I always thought they held me back, or jealous of my power. This is only because I was not good enough to meet their standards. I never have been. Um, yeah, so, this is, I think, a failed opportunity. I think that you should be able to romance either Bastila or Johnny as a, a man. And I've also found out recently that apparently if you play dark side female, she's a romanceable character. Don't know why a dark side male isn't, but it is. But dark side female, yeah. I thank you for your kind words, Jedi. I seem to still have much to learn, both about being a Jedi and about myself. But I wish the cost of my ignorance had not been so high. I wish that my master had not suffered because of me. I don't think even a persuade, persuade, I persuade will allow you to, um, do this, but I will, I'll try it, and I believe that this is the alternative. I only wish things could have been different. If she were alive now, there would be so much I would say to her, so much I would apologize for. How can the Council ever take me back with what I have done? Striking my master down in anger is unforgivable. Okay, uh... I do know that... This is the alternative option. But since our Persuade has been working thus far, I'm going to continue that option. I should convince them that I am truly repentant. I am willing to forsake the dark side. And maybe, just maybe, they would accept me back. Do you think they would? Could it be possible after what I've done? Of course it would. They they will always expect ex accept you back. Um, this is the alternative. I know that much. That if your uh, persuade is not high enough, this is your alternative. I thank you, Master Jedi. I will return to the Council then. I shall submit myself to their judgment and hope they will forgive me. Again, I thank you. I am sure I will hear great things about you in the future. Yep. Ooh, a mesh underlay. And so I robbed it from, um, the one that I had from, uh, um, Mission's armor. But I don't think she really needed So now we can teleport back, or we can stay out here and, uh, do some more. 
And I think that's what we're going to do. But I'm going to do that next time. So I'll see you guys next time. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, and or subscribe. And as always, let the force be with you. And we have a lightsaber! Yay! That's going to get old real quick. But then again.